you probably heard the word grit. You probably know what grit is. And you probably even know that it's essential for our children's success. But how do we give grit to our children? And if you don't know what grit is, that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Every year, there are 15 lakh students who give the NEET exam, but only around 75,000 students get through NEET. Every year, there are 11 lakh students who write the JE mains, but there are only 16,000 seats in the IITs and another 25,000 in the NITs. Less than 5% of the students make it. And that's with every competitive exam in the country. It could be a CA exam, KBPI exam, or any top exam, IAS exams, same, name it. What is missing? The obvious answer that you might give to me is IQ. They're not working hard and so on and on and on. Or they don't have the same resources that the 5% of the students had. Is that true? Now, when students join CFL, every year I tell them that there are only five things or we have narrowed down to five things that are essential or will guarantee them success. Five things. The number one thing, the very good environment that is teachers and uh, people who believe in them. Okay, very positive environment. The school is very important, right? You need to have an environment where people believe in you. The second thing is you need to have a very strong peer group. Your group are your friends, or your classmates, who have the same ambition as you have or ambition better than you have. And they're very you know, supportive of each other. The third thing is you need to have deliberate practice. And I'll get back to it on a subsequent video. The fourth thing, is mindset, growth mindset specifically. And the last thing is grit. Now, when I say grit, a lot of the students are not clear on what grit is. So grit is nothing but you need to have passion and you need to have perseverance. If you have both, that's when you have grit. Now, there are a lot of then the students, when I say around 15 lakh students are writing need, they have got passion, they've got a desire to clear the need exam. 11 lakh students writing the J main exam, or a lot of students writing the IS exam, KB Pro exams, Olympic. Everybody has a desire to do well in these exams. I don't think any student there is going and saying, I am writing this exam to fail. I'm writing this exam to not clear this exam. I don't think so. And I don't think that's truth. But they have passion, they have a desire, but they are missing perseverance. And that is great. How do we give our children both? Our children have got passion, and some of them have very strong desire. How do we give them perseverance? So there are three aspects to get a very strong perseverance. The first aspect, Angela Duckworth mentions it. To get perseverance, you need to have something called as a growth mindset. To have a growth mindset, you need to have see failures as an opportunity to grow. You need to, when you think about efforts, you think it's essential for you to, efforts are essential for you to get better. When you look at feedback, you are, feedbacks are very essential for you to, you know, look at constructive feedback to get, you know, where you're going to improve on. You see the learning process has an important. And then you, whenever you have, for example, saying you're not good at this, you say, I'm not good at this yet. And slowly you start building on a growth mindset. So that's the first aspect about perse getting perseverance. The second aspect about to persevere, you cannot persevere when people around you are negative. If your parents are negative, if your teachers are negative, that you cannot do it, no matter what you do, that's not happy for them, it's not good for them, then it's hard to persevere. So to persevere, if you're a parent listening to this and you're a teacher listening to this, you need to be very supportive of the students. You need to be believe in them when nobody believes in them. And if you become a supportive parent and you become a supportive teacher, then students will have the second aspect about perseverance. And as a student, if you're listening to this video, you need to start believing in yourself more than anybody else is going to believe in you. You've got to believe in yourself more than you think you believe in yourself. Now that's, if you have the three aspects, growth mindset, a positive parent group, teacher group, and if you believe in yourself, you will have perseverance. I'm sure if you're writing these exams and if you're in college, you have got a passion to succeed in life. You have a desire to succeed in life. 
you need to get perseverance. And you're going to get perseverance through growth mindset, positive peer groups, and to believe in yourself. If you have both of them, then you have grit. It's time that you start thinking of life in a very different way. Success is not going to come from IQ. Success is not going to come from just academics. Success is going to come for you if you're going to have grit. And it's time to get it. Thank you.